Welcome back. Today in our Sunday Spotlight, Scott Deluzio, the Army veteran from Connecticut, is out with a new book, Surviving Son, looking at his life both before and after the death of his brother Stephen. A fellow soldier, Stephen died in Afghanistan, incredibly just miles away from where Scott was deployed at the time. Scott Deluzio joins us on this Sunday morning. Scott, thank you for being with us. I know uh, not only uh, is this a story that is obviously so moving, but this is a Connecticut story, a Glastonbury story. Tell me a little bit about what led you to write this book. You know, when I first came home from Afghanistan, I had a lot of uh, obviously a lot of emotions and a lot of thoughts going through my head. And and so I started journaling a lot of, a lot of uh, what had gone on when, when I was over there in Afghanistan. And then a couple of years ago, I decided that the, this book, the story uh, really needed to be told to help out other people, to help out other veterans, maybe other grieving families uh, and, and things along those lines. And so I, I wanted to to write this story and get it out there to help out as many people as I could. So you and your brother are both uh, moved by 9-11, and both of you at that point decided that you wanted to uh, do what you could to serve your country. Tell us about the, the two choices you and your brother made. Right. So my brother was in uh, Norwich University when he decided to join the, the National Guard uh, up there in Vermont, and he, he joined a, about a year before I did. And um, in 2005, I heard a report on the news saying that the the army was struggling to meet its recruiting numbers, and that just angered me. And and I, I started thinking back to September 11th and, and thinking about all the people who were literally willing to move mountains to go and fight this this enemy. I said, "Where are all those people?" And then I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, "Well, I am those people. I, I had that same feeling back on on September 11th." And so I said, "You know, I'm young enough and I'm fit enough. I, why not me? Why why shouldn't I go and and fight too?" So, uh, so that's why I joined the the National Guard uh, at that point. So a call to duty for both the Deluzio brothers. And incredibly, on the day your brother was killed in Afghanistan, you were also in Afghanistan, not far from where he was. Yeah, we were both stationed in eastern Afghanistan. Uh, he was, I, I don't know the exact mileage, but I know he was he was relatively close uh, between where I was and, and he was. And when I found out about his, his death, uh, I was out on a mission in some remote village out there. And maybe about 20 minutes after finding out about his death, my own unit came, uh, got into a firefight uh, ourselves. And so I had, at that point, I had to put my gr own grieving aside and, and jump back into, uh, into army mode and, and go and fight against this, this enemy and make sure that the soldiers that were under my, my leadership were taken care of and, and that nothing happened to them as well. Such an incredible story of, of sacrifice and of patriotism. Tell us about the next part of the story, though, because I think that's a lot of what you want people to know, right, is not just what happened in Afghanistan, but what happened to you after you got home. Yeah, it was a struggle for me coming back home, uh, dealing with PTSD and and uh, the whole uh, range of issues that I, I was dealing with after I got home. And I, I write about all of these issues. And you're right. This is something I want people to take away from from this story is. All, all the mistakes that I made uh, in coming home, I, I dealt with uh, in the all of my problems in the wrong way. I was I, I drank too much and I was not sleeping enough and I, I was had a short temper and I, I wasn't getting help either for all of this stuff. I was trying to just deal with it on my own and it just wasn't working for me. So what I ended up doing is, is going to get help at the VA and, and getting the treatment that they offered. And, and I, I just really want to encourage people to, to understand that that's an okay thing to do that, that it doesn't mean that you're, you're crazy when, when you're going to seek treatment, it means that you're having a normal human response to a, abnormal situation. Uh, you've been so outspoken, uh, obviously, in the book. You also have the Drive On podcast that people may uh, recognize as well. So you talk about what you hope people get out of it, but who is this book aimed at? Who do you want to be uh, to clicking on Amazon this Sunday morning and buying it? Yeah, I, I'd love for veterans and service members to, to go out and get a, a copy of this book to uh, to read about the the issues that I had and and even people who are considering the military as a career path uh, read about the, these things so that you can kind of nip some of the problems in the bud before they become a problem for you. Um, but I also would like the civilians, people who maybe never served or maybe never knew anybody in their their families who had served to uh, learn about the sacrifices that we make and and the uh, 
impact that it has on our families and our communities through uh, through losses like the one of my brother. All right, Scott Deluzio, we appreciate you being with us. Surviving Son is the name of the book. Drive On is the podcast. Hopefully people will check both of them out soon. Thanks for being with us on this Sunday morning. Thanks for having me. All right, let's take a look at that graphic one more time to plug that book. You can see Surviving Son is the book. You can buy it online. You can pick it up at your local bookstore. That is a, a, definitely a moving book that I'd encourage you to check out. That is CT21 for this week. I know we told you last week CBS Sunday Morning was next. It wasn't. It was football. This week, we checked the TV guide. It is next this week, CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley. We'll meet you back here in Studio A with our TV guide next Sunday morning. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.